Glutos Orsilian, Lord of Gluttony. Glutos Orsilian is a true epican, a monstrous champion of Slanesh, who has gorged on the sacking of nations, and still he is not sated. Around him he has gathered a vile parade of gourmands and psychopaths, each devoted to appeasing their master's cursed hungers. Of all the Dark Prince's champions, few are as repugnant as Glutos Orsilian. His disciples name him the Grand Gourmand, the Veneer of Souls, the Scrumptious Sinner. Lounging atop his opulent palaquin, Glutos embodies overindulgence. Piggish eyes glimmer amongst the folds of his face, and an overlong tongue slobbers across his drool-covered chins. From his swollen frame emerge grasping tentacles and other unnerving signs of the Dark Prince's degrading affections. The pompous homunculus known as the Gormalis prepares his diabolical feasts while slaves cover his body in glistening oils and resplendent jewels. There can be no doubt that Orsilian is a paragon of gluttony, one of Slanesh's most beloved sins. The Orsilians were once known only as a clan of failing merchants from Hayesh. With their fortunes on the wane, the scrawny Glutos was forced into the role of thief and cut purse, eventually infiltrating the temple of the Cornucopian Rite in Extil and stealing the sacred golden grain. Yet, Glutos's will was brittle. Overcome by gnawing cramps of his underfed stomach, he ate the grain, and in that instant, he was damned. Unbeknownst to him, the Rite was secretly devoted to the Slaneshi demon prince, Loth Shar. No sooner had he indulged himself than Glutos was racked with a terrible hunger that could only be sated by consuming something even grander than the demon's treasure. At first, Orsilian attempted to repay his debt through conventional means, squandering every stolen coin on increasingly outlandish foodstuffs. In this, he was profoundly unsuccessful. Driven to the brink by the demon's taunting, it was only when he discovered a body left to rot in a back alley of one of Exentel's cities that his fate changed. Guided by Lothshard's mocking whispers, Glutos fed upon the corpse, weeping at his own foulness even as the flavors danced upon his tongue. In that moment, kneeling amidst the ruin of his own debasement, something splintered within him. The shade of Lothshar appeared before him, assuring Glutos that he was upon the right path, and that the demon would assuage, if not banish, his hunger for a time, if only he pursued more esoteric treats. In Hayish, the magical flesh of wizards was not in short supply. The more Glutos feasted upon mages of murder and back alley sulks and secretive pleasure houses, the greater the favor Lothshar bequeathed upon him. And as his corpulence grew, so did his frame. Hedonites traveled from across the realms to pay tribute to he whom they considered their lord's chosen gourmand, offering riches, obscene delicacies, and packs of the blade for the chance to feast at his side. Towns were massacred, trading caravans raided, and even armies routed, all to feed Glutos's dark craving. Consumption became an end unto itself. And even morbidly obese demons came to seek out Orsilian and his carnival, dining to torment souls alongside shrieking Sybarite gluttons. The more varied flavors Glutos samples, the greater his horse's abilities become. This is not the gastromatic shamanism of the ogre race, but rather the rewards of a refined palate. For should Orsilian limit himself to repetitive tastes, then this favor will be agonizingly retracted. At the height of his powers, Glutos is a living conduit for magics of excess. With a contemptuous twitch of his ring-crusted fingers, he compels the stomachs of his enemies to distend, bursting from their bodies in a shower of bile and gore. The scented vapors that waft from the serpent mouth grills ringing his lavish palaquin fill the mind with a fog of temptation. Those hedonites who inhale are roused to a voracious fury, while their foes are racked by crippling hunger spasms that soon drive them over the edge of sanity. Glutos is surrounded by a demented circus that aids his search for the most exotic tastes. 
The pain bringer Kazu serves as Glutos' executioner. Glutos is surrounded by a demented circus that aids his search for the most exotic tastes. The pain bringer Kazu serves as Glutos' executioner in return for the chance to indulge in his cannibalistic urges. Dalius, priestess of the right, ensures only the worthiest of morsels reach her bloated master. While Lashmaster Varisk is charged with driving the palaquin on, never ceasing while there's new delights to sample. Yet, Glutos' most dangerous companion is found in the head of his mirror staff. From here, Lothshar's leering visage whispers of new sweet meats his champion must seek out, and suppressed desires that dwell in the hearts of men. The armies of Glutos or Cillian echo their master in slavish devotion to overindulgence. Mortals and demons charge forth with reckless abandon, blades and claws lashing out with ferocity even as their bodies begin to tear at the seams. With a deep and rumbling laughter, Orsilian promises delights beyond measure for those who bring him the most scrumptious offerings. As the Hedonites gorge themselves upon still screaming flesh, enemy warriors are overcome by a wave of horror at the gory spectacle. These terrified foes are soon filleted like squirming fish by the hungering Hedonites, presented as grisly and often still living banquet in honor of their grand gourmand. That is Glutos or Cillian, hedonism bot on his pleasure barge. He had made sure the orgy pit was scraped and buttered before showing up. Honestly, he is actually a really cool character. Um, I, I do want more stories with him too. I, so with Broken Realms going on with the narrative right now, I, I'm wondering, are we going to see more Slanesh stories like? I mean, they have the newborn that's already shown up, right? Is that going to be like an AOS 3.0 threat? And um, Broken Realms is just kind of setting the stage for that. And then we'll see stuff from him in like Sigvald and more Slanesh. Or are we going to get a book where it's going to show what's going on with Slanesh and stuff? Because like I said in the Catacos video, um, we got still we still got a, a war going on in the All Points. We got Sigvald who has uh, it out for the Ossiarch Bone Reapers and Nagash. So that's still going on. Nagash um, may or may not be dead. I don't know. I haven't gotten the Techless book, but some spoilers kind of seem like, you know, he might be out of action for a little bit. And then you got um, the vampires showing up. Like, there's a lot going on, and I don't know if there's going to be room for Glutos in this. Because you got Sigvald, like, the main star of Slanesh. Everybody loves him. So I, I, I can't imagine him not getting any sort of story or expansion. But I, I do want to see Glutos. He's He seems like a really fun character. The guy's... I, I, I could relate to him. I like to eat, too. Not people, despite what me and Meth talked about. But... <laughs> but... But like I like to eat, I, I overindulge, don't we all? It's it's natural, so I I, I like it. I want to see how it goes and what type of stories can be formed around him, and his armies, like like he's he's being pushed to like try and, and eating more exotic foods. But like what what's his motivation to be on that? What what are the goals? It, does he have? Um, we saw in the Golden Sun story, which I'll probably do a video on too and talk about, that he's being sent somewhere with Sigvald. I'm not going to spoil it since I'm doing a video. And I want to know what's going to happen when they get there. Uh, these Broken Realm books, like, I get why they're coming out slowly, but man, it's, it's, I want to know. I just, I want more information and I want, I want to read more of the story. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the characters they make and the units they make too. Like, you could have a lot of stories around them. But Glutos is a great example of somebody like they they, they 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 give you enough to like hook you into the character, but they don't have anything after that, and it's kind of frustrating because I want to know more. I wanna I want to see what he does and how he does it and why he does it. I mean, we know why he serves Slanesh. Not really, not really his fault. I mean, as a kid that was hungry, but here we are now. And I just, I want to know what he's going to do. That's, 
that's my thoughts on it all. Maybe I'll do a Broken Realm video of just, like, my speculations and what I think is going to happen later on. But uh, this was Glutose Orsillian, or I like to call him Hedonism Bot and his Pleasure Barge. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.